Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, we're going to take a look at the brand new collapsible detailing car by Adams Polishes. Let's do it. So Adams Polish has come out with a new collapsible detailing cart and to some people that may not even interest you, some people you, I got your attention because until you need one, you don't realize that you need to buy one. And I was in that situation um, with the 1952 Chevy Gasser where I needed the detailing cart, a collapsible detailing cart and I didn't have it. Um, this detailing cart, you guys, I'm going to go over the specs of it really quick. Um, I'm hoping this video is not gonna be really long. There's not a lot to show when it comes to a detailing cart. I'm gonna show you guys how to collapse it how to uh, open it, close it, show you guys. It says 65 pounds per shelf. We're gonna put my daughter on it. She's a little over 50 pounds. We'll see how well it does there. Um, I'll show you guys putting it in and out of probably the journey. And that'd be it for the video. Uh, the cart is made of ABS plastic. It has two locking wheels. Um, so that way when you get to a position where you want it, you can lock the wheels. You know it's not gonna roll on you, especially if you're on any type of incline at all. Um, it's got four swivels, two are locking. The uh, radiant capacity is 65 pounds per shelf. Um, with the cart open, it measures 15 inches wide as far as the shelf, 26 and 8 inches long, and 34 inches tall. That is my only complaint with this, this uh, 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 detail cart is that I'm tall. I'm six foot two. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm standing next to it. Once it's collapsed, it's still 15 inches wide, but only 8 inches long as far as uh, the width when it's completely, I guess it's the width, um, when it's collapsed. 8 inches, that's it. And 42 inches tall because when you collapse it, it kind of gets a little bit taller. Um, I have had a detail cart from Griot's Garage that I used for a really long time. And that, that car has, I used it when I was working on a car a few times and I've gotten grease and stuff all over and I really don't use it much at all anymore because I don't want to get that on my pads, my polisher, my towels, anything like that. Um, I'll tell you that the Adams Polishes collapsible detailing car is $100 on their website. Sometimes you can catch it on sale for like $79.99. That sounds like a lot to you guys. But the last cart that I bought for detailing, I spent $150 on. So $100 is less than what I was spending before. And it's easier to maneuver around when I need to go places. Or instead of having, you know, garages, uh, floor space is, is something that gets taken up really quick. I know that firsthand. Is I'll, I'll clean my garage. Well, me and my wife clean my garage. Clean the garage and be like, oh, man, I got tons of room. And next thing you know, I have no floor space left. Now with this being collapsible, I can take my cart and I can just hang it on the wall, is which, I, which what I will do once the garage is done. Um, and it'll be up and out of my way and I'm not gonna get it dirty that way by just throwing tools or something on it. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it looks like. Like I said, with my daughter on it as well, I'll show you guys put in the journey and that's it. That's gonna be basically it for this video. So hope you guys enjoy. Let me give you guys an up close view first. Um, it does have the Abs Polish logo right here. Here is the shelves. As you can see, there's no compartments, so you basically your options are limit, limitless as far as what you want to do with your shelves. Because a lot of detailing carts will have like pockets, uh, and you're kind of limited on what you can do. Uh, all three shelves are identical; they're all exactly the same. Here is how thick the plastic is on the side. Right there, it gets thicker here in the middle. Um, that's where you kind of hold it if you want when you want to collapse it. Once again, it is made of plastic. It's ABF plastic. This is metal, 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 um, and the rest of it's plastic. I apologize for this floor. This is actually what I consider like our mud room. This is where we come in, take our shoes off before we go inside. I need to vacuum it all up, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. So this is what it looks like once collapsed. So then when you want to uncollapse it, basically all you're gonna do is grab these two handles right here. And you're just gonna pull it out as you see it uncollapsed, whatever you wanna call it, unfolded. Now, here's where you gotta lock it down. Right here, and it is kind of stout. You have to push this down. I'll try to keep my fingers out of the way. Okay, that is locked in place. That's going nowhere. You got three shelves. This would be the front of the cart. You got three shelves. You can hang your bottles here on the sides here. Uh, put your polishers in here, you know, whatever you wanna do. Like I said, I'm six foot two. It comes up to about the bottom of my pocket. I would love to have a company make one that comes up to about here on me, but you know it's no big deal. I'm just I'm just tall because um, that way it's right here instead of me doing this to grab stuff off of it bending over all the time. Okay, so basically putting it back, collapsing it, so you can put it in a car or just store it when you're not using it. This part is stiff, like I said a minute ago. Just grab it right in the middle, pull it up. Okay, 
And as you're pulling up, it's going to start collapsing. There you go. Okay, you guys, so my daughter, who's six years old, is right at 50 pounds. So yes, it's 15 pounds shy, and she's not looking at the camera just because I don't want her face on camera. It is 15 pounds shy of the 65, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna sit down on it. Crisscross applesauce. Okay, there you go. Move her around. The cart's not collapsing. Let me put an ex some extra weight on it to make it like 65. That is stout. It's not going anywhere at all. So if you're on your way to a detail and you run out of room in your trunk because all your products are back there, you take your cart, you stick it right in here. Or you open up the hatch. You stick it right in there. And then when you get to the destination, pull it out. Put it on the ground, unfold it, and as you're unloading, unload your stuff onto here at once, and take it in where you're going. So to be honest with you guys, stuff like this gets me excited when companies come out with products like this, something that uh, I would have never thought of because a normal car, you know, isn't normally collapsible. Uh, but this just makes the job easier. When I did that 1952 Chevy Gasser detail, he lived about an hour from me. Um, my car is too tall, even laying on side for my bed cover to close. And I had an hour drive and the day that the first day that I went, it was snowing, raining, sleeting, everything. I could not leave that open because I had all my products. Um, I had my light back there. I didn't want these things to get wet. So I said, you know, I'm just going to leave the cart here. I was planning on working out of my bags. I got there. Luckily, he had a table in his garage at the front of the car. So I had to, you know, walk back and forth, get towels and get polish, whatever I had to get because I didn't have my cart with me. So the great thing about this now is if I'd have been that, if I'd have had this cart then, it could have gone with me. Um, so that's why when I saw this, I was like, I gotta have it because of already, because of what just happened a couple weeks ago to me, I need a collapsible cart. Um, this is absolutely perfect. I wish it was a little bit taller. That's my only complaint. Just give me like six inches more taller, five or six inches more taller, get it up more my height. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, I can get it up off my floor when I'm not using it, hang it on my wall to make sure it doesn't get dirty uh, in my garage, getting stuff thrown on like I did with my old cart. Um, but I figured this would be a cool video to bring to you guys because it's something that you don't realize you need until you need it. Now I don't have to worry about that. I will put a link in the description of the video um, where you can go to Amazon and you can buy this cart and uh, if, you, if you so choose. Um, some people this video may not even apply to. They don't really care about a detail cart. I get that. Uh, some of you may be like, dang, I never knew anybody made a collapsible cart. So that's the whole purpose of me making a video like this. I wanna thank Adams Polishes uh, for sponsoring this video, for sending me this cart. I did not make any money making this video, but I did receive the cart for free in return for a video. And I always wanna put that out there in my video. Videos. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking the video out, give me a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button while you're down there, ring that little bell, so the next time I upload a video you will be notified and we'll see you in the next video.